Yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? Let me try to do this video before my battery runs out. It's March uh, the 6th, of course, Wednesday. Uh, this video is going to be about uh, Canada lows and uh, a lot of flatbed stuff. Uh, if I can't get all the flatbed done today, I get it done tomorrow. Try to get it done tomorrow. But there was a couple requests and I haven't did flatbed a lot. So uh, the first search is, is Canada. So I'm uh, basically he want to check everywhere in the states, going to uh, two different locations here in Canada. I probably click the the other uh, places for you guys to check it out real quick. Whoever like to go to Canada or whatever. But there's 43 lows going to the two places or the Edmonton and uh, Calgary, Calgary is it? So I'm gonna scroll down kind of slow so you can see it. There's only 43 lows going into these two places or, the, or different places around the area. But, uh, okay, okay, rates. I mean, uh, it should be a little bit higher. I mean, I see three hours of uh, rate per mile. It's not that bad. It's pretty good. Let's click on this one right here. Okay, it's a uh, direct shipper, so that means the shipper already had their load. It's preloaded, so it's going to be a live load. At both places, it looks like. Uh, the good thing about this, if you look down here, they got the map. Kind of tell you how to get there. So, so, okay, so that's what Calgary. I didn't know where this place was at. I thought it was over here somewhere by Ontario or Quebec. But now I know it's on this side, on the, the west side. Okay. That's what a good thing I love about. That's one thing about I liked about this little map thingy, you know. Uh, it's not that bad. So I'm going to scroll down kind of slow. Oh, that's it right there. So, uh, a couple of stops, not a lot. It should be a little bit more than that. But if if you see, if you, if you click on these uh other areas here, like uh, Ontario, I think it's Quebec right here. I mean, you you know, if you click on everything, it's gonna be so much more lows. Uh, Saint John's, uh, that's paying uh, ten thousand dollars. I don't know what is that, so let's scroll, let's scroll on right here and uh, see what it, what it, it looks like. It could be a little island or something. Uh, oh, sh what the hell? Wow. 10 Gs. Holy smokes. Damn. Are you, wow, yeah. You def you're definitely going to be taking some kind of, unless it's a bridge right there, you're going to be taking some kind of, uh, Boat over there, you know, uh, one of them, uh, little boat, you know, them big boats that take you over there. Wow. St. John's. Oh, no one is paying 10, uh, no one is paying, uh, 10 G's. Damn. That'd be a crazy load to do. Uh, I heard of, uh, of something like this going to Canada. The, the, you gotta pay like $2,500 for the, uh, you know, that boat to, uh, drop, drop you on the other side. That's gonna be something like that too. That'd be that'd be kind of interesting low to do. That's why it's probably paying 10 G's. Uh they ain't got no comments on it, but uh damn that's crazy. Uh let's go down real quick. Do a little bit. Probably already saw some of these already, but uh okay, okay. Okay, rates, not that bad. Not that bad, man, not that bad. All right. Damn, that's really interesting. That first low really is kind of crazy. I would like to see how that works, you know, how to, to get over to the island. I mean, uh, they got to be away. You know, they got to be one of them little, uh, you know, them big boats that uh, transfer you over there or whatever. But uh, that's kind of stuff for y'all. Uh, if you need more of that information, hit me up on the email and I, I can send you some pictures or something like that of, of Canada loads. Uh, certified Trucker wanted, what did he want it? He wanted to see uh, Georgia going anywhere to the Midwest, flatbed loads. Uh, going to check Georgia. Okay. Georgia going anywhere to the Midwest, flatbed. Okay. I'm uh. Cancel this, cancel this, go to flat. Let's go. 
George only got George only got twenty one lows going to the Midwest, and this is paying really low. A dollar seventy eight. Look at this. Wow. Wow. What the hell? That is really low. Holy smoke! Give me a second, man. Uh, let me cancel this. Uh. Damn, that is super low. That's, that's, that's no good. That's the that's some bad freight right there. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, that's crazy. Those are the rates coming out of there. I don't know. Let's check somewhere else. That's you know. Let's check something that's not the Midwest. Let's check. Uh, I know you probably want to go west, but let's check uh Southwest or or West. You know, which is these states right here. Maybe you got 11 loads. Okay. Uh, that one going to Texas is pretty good. 3014 cents. Uh, and then what the hell? That's some, I don't know what the hell is going on with that. That's wrong. That, that bottom rate is incorrect. 36 cents. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, so that's some bad race right there, man. I don't know what's up with Georgia, man. Maybe it's not a good place for flatbed out of there. Uh, it is middle middle of the week, so I don't I'm not really too sure, but the rate is kind of bad. Next one was uh, let's see, let's do the Los Angeles next. Uh, Los Angeles going uh flatbed, okay. Not sure there's too much free over there, but come on, baby. There you go. Let's do 100 miles. Let's do 150. Uh, oh, they got the flatbed. Oh, special. Okay. Seven lows. Fontana, Fontana. Uh, uh, mm. Let's click on this first one here. Looks like it's a, a go here, deliver somewhere, come back. I don't know what's up with the miles. So, something you had to call the shipper about. Uh, Long Beach, California to Phoenix. That's paying 12 dollars 57 It's paying a little bit low, though, but I mean, it's flatbed, though. Uh, port complaint truck with truck. Yeah, that's a trick card. I mean, that's a that's a port uh, pickup, so that's a pipe. Paying the ass, pick a place. Uh, excuse my French, but... Uh, I won't go to no port. Forget that, man. They got some big potholes at these some of these locations. I won't even mess with there. Uh, yo, let's check one place that I'm, I'm surprised a lot of you guys don't ask more about it, which is uh, Laredo, Texas. You know, somebody asked me about Laredo, Texas. Uh, San Antonio and Laredo, Texas. Let's check that out. Uh, I remember I used to go there a lot when I was when I was long distance. Well. I don't do a lot of far loads right now, though, but I used to go to Laredo a lot, so uh, let's clear that out. Laredo. Come on, man. Yeah, if you guys like the video, man, please subscribe. Uh, you know, that motivates me to do more videos. I like to see all my subscribers subscribe or whatever. Uh, I really appreciate if you guys do. Uh, I know I help a lot of guys out get in with Landstar. So, uh, trying to be, trying to do what I can, you know, just to help people out. Uh, Laredo, Texas. I got down flatbed and van. So this, this search There's going to be a lot of loads. It should be a lot of loads. Flat, over 500 loads in Laredo. 100, well, 150 miles from Laredo. Uh, just look at it, man. See, you ain't got any good ones. I know the stuff going to East Coast is good. Look at this one right here. That's pretty good. Uh, Laredo going to New York. Uh, $4,700. Like, come on, man. That's some money right there. Get money low right there, guys. And uh, look at this one. Uh, what was it at? Damn, I just had it. Uh, it was Laredo going to Lakewood. Look at this. $4,900. Uh, tw uh, 2020 cents a mile. That wasn't the thing I like this one was because the weight is 10,000 pounds. So that's what I like about it. Uh, you know, that's why I was like, that's a, that's a pretty good load. 
Remember, if I'm going too fast, just do the playback button and slow the speed on it. And you can check out the loads. Uh, let me see. Okay. New Jersey, New Burger. That should be a little bit higher than this. Flanders, that should be higher than that. Uh, sometimes when you get down there, you could get stuck, man. That's why a lot of people don't try to head down to Laredo. But if you got no choice and go down there, you could get stuck down there, man. So you're going to have to take something that doesn't pay that good, you know, to, to get out of there. Or, or just take something to take you to, like, San Antonio, you know. Uh, that would be the best bet for you. And, you know, you, you either move from there or just head back down south, you know what I'm saying? Just check San Antonio. Uh, San Antonio, Texas. Any requests, man, uh, just... He, uh, you know, just put the notes on and uh, I try to get to it as best as I can. Uh, that one's saying, hey, okay, let's see. All right, so until I got some okay uh, loads. And, of course, it's not too far away from Laredo, so Laredo's still popping up on the screen. Uh, Austin, Texas, okay. 244 mile. This is, this, yo, this, this is what I would do because, first of all, look at the weight. You got to look at everything, man. Look at the weights. Sometimes if it's not higher the rate per mile, just look at the weight. And the weight kind of evens up because you're not going to spend a lot of money on fuel. Somebody was asking me, how do you call these agents up? This is what you do. You see the contact number right there. Uh, call them up. Be like, hey, how you doing? This is so-and-so. Uh, Want to know what this load is available from Austin, Texas to Whitefish. Uh, I think it's Montana. Uh, to, to Whitefish. And, you know, they're going to look at the computer. Do, 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 do. Once they look for it, they're like, yeah, this load's still available. Uh, it's paying 4600 It's 1800 miles. 244 rate per mile. And they're going to tell you the weight. 3000 If the weight is not 3000 if it's like 25000 or 50000 you know, you can try to ask them for some more money. Uh, ask them, is the toes included in this? Because there's going to be some toes. If they're not sure, they might ask you for toes, like how much you think you might spend. So you can spend, you can tell them like two hundred dollars or something. Or uh, what they do is uh, a lot of people take the money out of the, out of the line hall and add it to fuel because uh, that's what they do a lot of times. But that I mean that rate is not that bad. It's actually a pretty good rate. So uh, and that's what you do once you book it. Uh, you know, they're going to ask you for your truck number. They're going to have ask you for your trailer number. And then the next thing is your uh, email address. And they're going to send you, uh, you know, the uh, freight bill with the rate on it. You know, they're going to send you the freight bill with the, with the rate on it. And what you do is go through it. Make sure all the numbers are correct that when you talk through, you know, through them over the phone, make sure it's all correct. Because sometimes they, they could do something else, like change the date on it or something. Or uh, the weight could be wrong. Just make sure everything you see on the screen, make sure it's correct on the freight bill. For that way, you don't get screwed. You know what I'm saying? And if it's not correct, you call them back up and you tell them for a new one. Do not do not move to this place and pick up this load until you check that freight bill. Because you could get screwed. And once you go over there to the place, there's nothing you could do about it. Either they, they could be like, they're going to take the load off of you. And then you be messed out or, you know, but in that case, you had to call Landstar and uh, they will call the customer up and be like, hey, man, you can't do that. Like, you guys messed up pretty bad. But just make sure you handle your business before you leave. You know, go through the freight bill and everything. Check everything out. Make sure they got pickup number. A lot of times they don't got pickup number. And by the time you get there and the pickup is like 8 p.m. at night, a lot of these agents are closed. So, you know. Always ask for, make sure you got to pick a number to pick up these loads. Uh, if they tell you you don't need one, you don't need one. But just make sure uh, you got to pick a number. You know what I'm saying? That's the main thing. Because I've been to places that I didn't have no pick a number and I forgot to ask. And I got screwed. And I had to like bust my ass to, uh, excuse my friend, sorry. I had to, you know, bust my behind to... Uh, you know, ask everybody there, you know, had to pay, made the guard like $20 for 
before he could try to give me the picket number for me, you know? So, uh, you know, that's the race right here. So just, just make sure you do everything. I know your first couple of times you, you guys going to be, or new people is going to be, uh, a little nervous and stuff like that, which I understand. But, uh, just try to get all the information you can, you know, before you even hit down there. Cause you don't want to get screwed, man. Cause once, you know, once you're on your own, you're on your own. Uh, this is my last search. I'm just checking the highest rates that Landstar have. And the highest race is in the Ampolis to Victorville. Uh, $40,000. That is a oversized load. 150, 156,000 uh, pounds is a 40,000 pounds. I mean, it's 40,000. Uh, let's see. Uh, description of the Cat 992. Looks like a big machine. Well, it, it sounds like a big machine. It's 156,000 pounds. But look at the weight and look at the, the money. So, them oversized guys are making some money, man. Cause look at that. I know you're going to spend a lot, of money, a lot of money on fuel. And uh, you're going to spend money on tolls and permits and stuff. But those guys got to be making some money, man. I would like to talk to an owner operator that do these oversized loads for Landstar and ask him, like, what's up? Like, how you guys doing, you know, with these kind of loads? Uh, double D, 48 foot. Okay, this is uh, this is a, a dry van. Let's check all this out. Building supplies. Oh, that's going to Canada. Uh, so it's paying $20,000. 4,700 miles. So, I mean, let's see. Wow, look at that. That's going to Alaska. Holy smokes. To another island. Damn. How will you get there, yo? Wow, I guess you have to go through the National Park. <laughs> yo, that is crazy, man. I don't know if I would be doing something like that, man. I'd be scared as hell. Put up my truck and one on boats and, you know, transfer me over there, you know, and Wow. Is that even worth $20,000, man? I don't know. Wow, that's... That's... It's crazy. I don't know. I won't do it for 20 Gs. That's, I think that sounds like a headache. I'm pretty sure you're going to spend like $5,000 in transporting your truck to this island here. Uh, But... Damn, this is crazy. Ugh. Well, this is why it's good to also... If you don't know where you're going, <laughs> check this map out. Because if you booked it low... You might be screwed, man. So I'm going to holler at you guys. You guys have a good day. And hopefully you guys ain't freezing your butts outside like I am today. So y'all be safe. And don't forget to like and subscribe, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys.